Hi, I'm Ijoma Idikachima, a 2014 Mandela Washington Fellow from Nigeria. I was 23 when I was selected for the MWF, and I remain grateful to the U.S. government for selecting me and helping me enhance my capacity. This has also impacted the works that I've done currently, before and even after the fellowship. Now, I am the founder of Teens Global Foundation, a youth-led organization that's focused on open education, access to education, capacity building initiatives, community information programs, and citizen and cultural interventions across communities. So far, we've worked with 158 schools, 26 communities across 10 states in Nigeria. We've also had programs where we've implemented with over 65 partners. We've had six grants that we've been awarded and also three awards. Now, I'll talk about some of our award-winning programs, such as the Power of Your Mind Project, the POYNP, which is a mental health program targeted at young people having the right mind management skills and reducing the rate of suicide in our society. Another innovative programs we've been carrying out since 2016 is the youth skills training on different skills such as leadership, entrepreneurship, employability, digital skills, and also career choice. We've done this for young people across Africa, not just in Nigeria alone. And so far, we've reached over 1,000 youths with those trainings. Another of our program I'll talk about was one we started during the COVID-19 pandemic, which is the School Exchange Fellowship. Now, the School Exchange Fellowship is a program on capacity building for youths in Africa who are already implementing projects and solutions in their communities. We bring them together and train them on different aspects, education, business, and civic, to help them develop more capacity to do much more. And we also expose them to a network of young other African leaders doing amazing work. And this we did this year with 12 fellows from seven countries. We've also had the Teens Global Show broadcast on two national television, reaching a total of 3 million viewers weekly on different topics. It's a program that's focused on contemporary issues that affect young people. We talk about leadership, entrepreneurship, career, academics, business, personal, and professional development. And of course, during the COVID-19 pandemic, I, I and my team led information sharing where we made information about the COVID-19 simpler for youths to understand in order for them to stay safe during the pandemic. We were also involved in food distribution, especially during the lockdown, when people didn't have access to food to be able to sustain themselves. And I'll talk about the two major motivations, two things that motivate me to do the work that I do as one. I believe in helping people build life skills to enable them make informed choices. And I also believe in being the right role model in my community for positive change to do those things that I believe that should be done and also lead the pace in influencing other young leaders to make changes in their communities. Talking about skills, we all know that the COVID-19 has affected the future of work in terms of youth employability, youth entrepreneurship, and also youth engagement. And what this tells us is that there are several cross-cultural partnerships currently growing. We also have job borderless communities that are currently existing. But you need to understand the potentials that you need, the potential approaches to actually maximize these opportunities with your entrepreneurial and employability capacity. And this you can actually get from the Path to Job Readiness course on the portal. So I'm going to recommend this course for every young person, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a job seeker, whether you're a young African leader who is currently trying to understand what next to do, the next phase to go. This course is for you because it's going to expand your horizons. And we're talking about the future of work here. So the future is here. Whether we like it or not, we need to embrace it and we need to run with it. So this course is going to keep you prepared for the future of work. And finally, I look forward to connecting with you all. You've heard some of the work that I do. I'm also looking forward to partnership to expand what I'm currently doing and also scale up. My two major areas are education, media, and new skills trainings. And these are things that I look forward to collaborations to be able to bring forth sustainable solutions in furthering the SDG goal four, five, and eight in communities across Nigeria. Thank you.